He's right, Pac-Man. The world will survive, but it'll be as dark as deep winter for years on end. And no one will be safe from the spectral monsters. The world will survive, but it'll be as dark as deep winter for years on end. And no one will be safe from the spectral monsters. That's the stuff, Pac-Man. Oh, I've been looking forward to this bit. Get him! Pac-Man, I sense an energy source beneath you. Look for a way to use the engine's machinery against that machine. Pac-Man, the pillars are time-locked. Move faster! Uh-oh. I'm detecting a rise in energy in your sector, Pac-Man. Not ghosts. Spectral monsters! Tougher than ghosts. You'll need a power pellet! Pac-Man, can you hear me? Outpost calling Yellow Fella. Repeat, can you hear me? The spectral monsters come from the spectral realm, which is being siphoned by Erwin, which is why they're in a seriously bad mood. The spectral monsters come from the spectral realm, which is being siphoned by Erwin, which is why they're in a seriously bad mood. The spectral monsters come from the spectral realm, which is being siphoned by Erwin, which is why they're in a seriously bad mood. It's our home, too. Now can you see why I need your help? I don't know exactly what Erwin's up to, but it involves my home, which is why I'm in a seriously bad mood. Come and find me at the outpost. It's just a little bit further. It's our home, too. Now can you see why I need your help? I don't know exactly what Irwin's up to, but it involves my home, which is why I'm in a seriously bad mood. Come and find me at the outpost. It's just a little bit further. Pac-Man! Is that clear? You shouldn't rush to judgments, Pac-Man. Teleportation is not so easy. I had pinpoint control of the porter until you squirmed. I would port you again, but I can't lock on. Where are you? I had pinpoint control of the porter until you squirmed. I port you again, but I can't lock on. Where are you? Oh, you're down there. You. Rather you than me. Make your way upwards. I'll try to think of some way to help. Oh, you're down there. You! Rather you than me. Make your way upwards. I'll try to think of some way to help. A nasty creep named Erwin Klang. Typical megnomaniac. Hates chocolates and kittens. An only child, I think. A nasty creep named Erwin. Typical megnomaniac. Hates chocolates and kittens. An only child, I think. A nasty creep named Erwin Klang, typical megalomaniac, hates chocolate and kittens. An only child, I think. A nasty creep named Erwin Klang, typical megalomaniac, hates chocolates and kittens. An only child, I think. A nasty creep named Erwin Crockley, typical megalomaniac, hates chocolates and kittens. An only child, I think. A nasty creep named Erwin Crockley, typical megalomaniac, hates chocolates and kittens. <laughs> An only child, I think. A nasty creep named Erwin, typical megalomaniac, hates chocolate and kittens. An only child, I think. A nasty creep named Erwin, typical megalomaniac, hates chocolates and kittens. <laughs> An only child, I think. Would you believe me if I said the whole world was in danger? Would you believe me if I said the whole world was in danger? Would you believe me if I said the whole world was in danger? There's no part of Irwin's venture that is safe, Pac-Man. Take it from me. Good point. How about we try something a little more exciting? Get ready for Virtual Pac-Man! 
Frankly, you could do with the exercise pack, man. You're starting to look even more spherical than usual. You're starting to look even more spherical than usual. Frankly, you could do with the exercise pack, man. You're starting to look even more spherical than usual. The first spectral siphon is somewhere within that structure. Find it and shut it down. Pinky's fine, Pac-Man. She can help you too. Try calling for her up ahead and see what she can do. Pinky's fine, Pac-Man. She can help you too. Try calling for her up ahead and see what she can do. Erwin was never one to think small. Pac-Man, I got an online schematic of a bomb right here. Probably a completely different type of bomb, and the diagram is in a language I can't read, but it's keeping me sane. You need to get on top of it. It says here, undo screws A, B, and C. Then, it's a little picture of a duck. No, wait. It's a humanoid. He's pressing the huge button to deactivate the bomb. It says here, undo screws A, B, C, and D. Then, it's a little picture of a duck. No, wait. It's a humanoid. He's pressing the huge button to deactivate the bomb. No! No! Hurry, Pac-Man! That bomb's on a short fuse! Jump faster, Pac-Man! You're about to get roasted! Jump faster, Pac-Man! You're about to get roasted! Jump faster, Pac-Man! You're about to get roasted! Pac-Man, do you hear something? Uh, a huge, gigantic, immense bow... bow... bonus! If we get the fires out quickly! That'd be a bonus! Sorry, Pac-Man, but it seems as if Erwin has changed tactics. He set fire to the Gogeka Towers. No doubt to create a diversion. He has a sick mind, Pac-Man. Nothing to do with bombs! Nice one, Pac-Man. Say, while you've been fighting these fires, you haven't seen any... No empty boxes marked explosives, nothing like that. No, no, just making sure. Orson, um, <laughs> Orson out. Pac-Man, the ticking. You can hear the ticking now, right? Right, good, yes, well, uh, be ready for, I mean, I don't want to panic me. Panic you, sorry. Right, good, yes, well, um, be ready for, I mean, I didn't want to panic me. Oh, panic you. Sorry. It's a fairly standard mechanism, Pac-Man. Rev roll plates, big stuff moves. You know the score. It's a fairly standard mechanism, Pac-Man. Rev roll plates, big stuff moves. You know the score. Now then, Pac-Man. I've located the final siphon, but there are some slight issues. Good work, Pac-Man. Now onward to the siphon. No, you didn't. Shut up. Uh-oh. I'm registering a significant power surge, Pac-Man. Your bright yellow, Pac-Man, hardly built for stealth. Erwin has messed up the spectral realm pretty bad by now, Pac-Man. You can expect these visitors to be desperate, so be careful. He may be right, Pac-Man. It may be a trap. A Gigamop 3 billion with all the extras. It seems that Erwin's little siphoning experiments have been having an adverse impact on meteorological outpourings in your proximity, Pac-Man. Very funny. The final siphon reading is coming from the inner compound. 
Make your way across the outer walls and find a way in. I like your style, Pac-Man. You're not too far away from the inner compound now and the spectral siphon. I'm sure there are many things you don't understand, Pac-Man. But go ahead. I've no idea, Pac-Man. But I'm sure there's more to this than first appears. Just watch yourself. Irwin is becoming more unhinged by the minute. It's typical behavior from a socially inept would-be dictator. That's the last of them, Pac-Man. Now let's get you into that siphon system real quick before any more turn up. Look around for some way to pierce the field, Pac-Man. You'll have to short-circuit that force field somehow. I'm detecting an ancient power source. It's coming from those crystals. Try those rev plates. You'll need to get all the crystals charged at the same time. Find the rev plates. Charge all the crystals. Attack! Find the rev plates. Charge all the crystals. Attack! Now's your chance. Sick them! Sick them! Now's your chance. Sick them! Sick them! That's it! Stomp him! Zap him! Call him names! Poke him with a stick! Just do something! That's it! Stomp him! Zap him! Call him names! Poke him with a stick! Just do something! That's... Stomp him! Zap him! Call him names! Poke him with a stick! Just do something! Now's your chance! Sick him! Sick him! Move in! Go! 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 Move in! Go! 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 These must be the caverns those archaeologists were exploring, Pac-Man. Irwin's desire to siphon here must have something to do with these ancient catacombs. This is definitely the right way. But I'd have expected the siphon to be higher, not lower. Irwin, what is your game? Pac-Man, I'll be in touch. I have some data digging to do. The last registered inhabitants were a group of archaeologists who were, apparently, studying some local caverns. But I have no life readings now. Maybe Irwin's autonomic policy enforcement mechanoids, his robots, I mean, scared them away. Think of it as a valuable learning experience. Sorry. I don't know why those guys didn't turn up on my radar. High up in the Cragstone Mountains. I have no idea why Irwin would want to build siphons here. The one in Gogeka made a kind of sense, as the fabric between real and spectral worlds is thin there. But why here? I'm flummoxed. Think of it as a valuable learning experience. Don't dilly-dally, Pac-Man. I'm getting reports of a bigger siphon. Irwin must have hidden it inside the mountain. Any place can be siphoned from in principle, and there are plenty of places easier to set up and maintain delicate machinery than these mountains. There just has to be a reason to siphon here specifically. Okay, Pac-Man, there's the siphon. My scans suggest a heavy hostile presence this side. Maybe you should sneak around the back. Okay, Pac-Man, there's the siphon. My scans suggest a heavy, hostile presence this side. Maybe you should sneak around the back. That sounded nothing like me. It looks like some of these windmills are rather dilapidated, Pac-Man. It looks like they provide power for the ropeways, so you'll have to fix them to get around the village. This cavern was one of many built by the ancients in these mountains. They built temples everywhere. Most of them are in ruins now, of course. This cavern was one of many built by the ancients in these mountains. They built temples everywhere. Most of them are in ruins now, of course. They disappeared from the face of the planet many moons ago.
They disappeared from the face of the earth many moons ago. Enough history already. There's work to be done. Looks like you're going to have to go right through the mountain. But keep on your toes, Pac-Man. Somehow I don't think Irwin's going to make this easy for you. Good timing. There's trouble at Gogeka. Hold on to your dots. Now you've got rid of those nasties, I can hack you into the Siphon's virtual system, Pac-Man. Get ready. Now you've got rid of those nasties, I can hack you into the Siphon virtual system, Pac-Man. Get ready. Can you help Pac-Man once he's inside the fortress? Because you escaped from there, right? Because you escaped from there, right? You even impressed me back there, Pac-Man. Next up, Irwin's Fortress. It's time to beard the dragon in his lair. It simply wasn't safe to port you right next to it, Pac-Man. The auxiliary gyrotoid is acting up. And as for the third ulterior exoprobe, I think it's on its last legs. That's enough, Clyde. That's enough, Clyde. Ready for interfacing, Pac-Man? I know he sounds like a gibbering idiot, but there might be something in what he says. I believe he did escape the fortress, after all. I'm getting spectral readings in this area, Pac-Man. Did you make a new friend, Pac-Man? Could that be true, I wonder? I meant the mighty hero part, but never mind. A very long time! The ancients didn't want just anyone wandering around here, I guess. This is serious, Pac-Man. Erwin Crockley is so hungry for power that he's siphoning energy from the spectral realm. This is serious, Pac-Man. Erwin is so hungry for power that he's siphoning energy from the spectral realm. For starters, Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde have disappeared. I fear the worst. I want you to go to the spectral realm and check things out. Good! But before that, I want you to help me calibrate Talkman. Just try not to break this one, huh? I'm not far away at all. Are you taking this in? Why don't you try it out on those monsters? It all belongs to Irwin. He's building spectral siphons all over the place. Keep stockpiling raw materials. I'd like you to disrupt, distress, and otherwise blow up anything of his you see. Please. We worked together once, a long time ago. I was studying the spectral realm, and he wanted to create a perfect energy source. We shared some information. This machinery was built a long time ago, Pac-Man. Even I don't understand it all. You probably have to activate something else first. You're nearing the outpost now, Pac-Man. Irwin's forces are everywhere. You should be able to see the outpost from there, Pac-Man. Hurry! You should be able to see the outpost from there, Pac-Man. Hurry! Irwin's army is on its way, Pac-Man. Not so much of a plan, Pac-Man, as a giant robot fitted with arms that go puncha, puncha. Yes, stop now before it's too late for us all, you madman. There's a mine ahead, Pac-Man. There's a key you need in there, but Irwin knows that as well as I do. The joke's on you, Irwin. Ghosts have no ears. The joke's on you, Irwin. Ghosts have no ears. The joke's on you, Irwin. Ghosts have no ears. The only part I need is his trigger finger clang. You'll see. The only part I need is trigger finger clang. You'll see. The only part I need is his trigger finger crockley. You'll see.
The only part I need is his trigger finger, Irwin. You'll see. Eject! Eject! She's gonna blow! Oh, my beautiful Talkman! Oh, and poor Pac-Man and Clyde, too. No, my beautiful Talkman! Oh, and poor Pac-Man and Clyde, too. I can't believe it! Is the world doomed? Pac-Man! Pac-Man! Come in, Pac-Man! I think that's it, guys. You better bring her on home. Don't scratch the paintwork. Hmm. Response time's up 3%. That seems to work. Puncha, puncha. That seems to work. Puncha, puncha. Splunks in 31 Battle Metal. It's robust, easy to clean, and gives a lovely finish. And the quarterback is toast. The ghost guns may be calibrated a millimeter high. Ooh, he's going to feel that in the morning. The game's up, Erwin. The boys are coming for you. Ow! Watch the finish on the Splunkston 31. Battle Metal doesn't polish itself. Don't overclock it. Meltdown at 4.6 Giga Revs. Attack my outpost, huh? Never again! Take that, you voidoid! Whoa, indeed. Oh, it's a conceptual egregoric plane formed from psychoplasmic vibrations. I hypothesize that it exists at right angles to your world. Oh, it's a conceptual egregoric plane formed from psychoplasmic vibrations. I hypothesize that it exists at right angles to your world. Oh, it's a conceptual egregoric plane formed from psychoplasmic vibrations. I hypothesize that it exists at right angles to your world. If my calculations are correct, and they are, you're in the spectral realm just as planned. I've lost contact with my friends, Pac-Man. I need you to track them down. Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde, I'm sure you remember. I've lost contact with my friends, Pac-Man. I need you to track them down. Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde, I'm sure you remember. Nasty spooks at 3 o'clock, Pac-Man. Thinking of the spectral realm has made me nostalgic. I remember paddling in the miasma seas as a little ghost, making fog castles and searching smoke pools for poppy mites. Oh, happy times. Don't expect the spectral realm to conform to your real-world expectations, Pac-Man. Pac-Man, my readings suggest a nearby ghost to rescue. Either that, or I have spaghetti sauce in my monitor. Sorry, Pac-Man. I'll give the teleporter a bit of a tweak. Now, track down that ghost for me. Unhappy souls. They usually hide in the darkness of the caverns beneath the spectral realm. Irwin's siphoning seems to have stirred them up, though. You weren't brought up here, Pac-Man. Now, get after those ghosts. You weren't brought up here, Pac-Man. Now, get after those ghosts. Came from right at the top of this realm. So head there. I miss this place. Sadly, the spectral realm and machinery just don't go together. My experiments all went wrong. It was a mess. So I decided to move somewhere more substantial. I've located Clyde Pac-Man. He's being held somewhere in this realm. It'd be better to find him before this place collapses entirely. I've located Clyde Pac-Man. He's being held somewhere in this realm. I'd better find him before this place collapses entirely. Natural or not, Pac-Man, you need to do it. Clyde's a fighter, and he'll be vital in our war against Irwin.
From within the spectral realm, a siphon's effect would be seen as a quasi-pseudo-distortion of its atomic fabric. In layman's terms, swirly. Pac-Man, find that swirliness! I had a fine life here as a young ghost. I learned basic levitation, scary and surprising, spooky noises, all here. Oh, great times. And magnificently, that seems to have deactivated the siphon as well. High fives all around, slap skin, <laughs> yeah! If you can knock something suitably large into the vortex, it should knock it out completely. This is not good. This is so seriously, indisputably, unbelievably not good. Pac-Man, the whole of the spectral realm is collapsing. Not good at all. If the spectral realm collapses, it'll break through to the real world. And that's the last anyone will have of kittens and chocolate and comfort and happiness for the foreseeable future. Not good at all. If the spectral realm collapses, it'll break through to the real world. And that's the last anyone will have of kittens and chocolate and comfort and happiness and life for the foreseeable future. I believe so. You know, I didn't think the two worlds could come this close together and still survive. It must be near the end. We must stop Irwin now. It seems not, Pac-Man. This huge energy reading I'm seeing here, it has to be Irwin. Plus, the spectral realm is still degrading. Something's not right. There's no other choice. It's the only way to penetrate the defenses Irwin has set up around the ancient temple. Erwin is repeating the mistake the ancients themselves made so many years ago, breaching the meniscus of the spectral realm. Except he's doing it on purpose. Erwin is repeating the mistake the ancients themselves made so many years ago, breaching the meniscus of the spectral realm. Except he's doing it on purpose. Erwin is repeating the mistake the ancients themselves made so many years ago, breaching the meniscus of the spectral realm. Except he's doing it on purpose. Nuh uh, not from here. Atmospheric disturbance. 93% chance of catastrophic recompression. You'll come out the other end the size of a golf ball. And you know, stone dead as well. But get closer, and I might be able to do something. Nuh uh, not from here. Atmospheric disturbance. 93% chance of catastrophic recompression. You'll come out the other side the size of a golf ball. And you know, stone dead as well. But get closer, and I might be able to do something. It gets worse with every second. You've got to hurry, Pac-Man. Home's not going to be home for us ghosts much longer. It may already be too late. 